Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, before I start, I just saw in YouTube a video from Ali, uh, Miss Ali Dawa. Uh, what the video of Ali Dawa is saying? Oh, brother, the one who burned the Quran, he found dead. <laughs> <laughs> Must be Allah punished him if this is true, brother. <laughs> hey, Lili Dawa, I burn the Quran, I make fun of the Quran, I step on the Quran. I remember once actually I was out of papers in the wood, and you know what I use it for. So why Allah don't punish those who make fun of the Quran, which is more horrible? I mean, you Muslims are already bankrupt. Your bankruptcy is beyond imagination. Anyway, let us make fun of the Quran and not to burn it. Why well, want to burn it? You know, we don't want to do what the Muslims do. Muslims, they burn the Quran. We don't burn the Quran. We laugh at the Quran. And let us see if your God Allah, I mean, I'm challenging your Allah for the last century to punish me. And look, never happened, you know. Brother and sister, brother and sisters, Allahu Akbar. The one who burned the Quran, he found dead. And maybe this is false news later. You will find him that he is alive and he is playing in the in the night club. So I mean, that, yeah, very very stupid. Anyway, uh, our topic today is to show you why the Quran and Islam is a very laughable religion, and that's why we laugh. And I challenge any Muhammadan, he have the courage and the knowledge to call us. Uh, Allah is God, you don't like it, that is your business. Ah, ah okay. That's, well, this is not what Islam teaches. Islam doesn't say, if you don't like it, it's your business. <laughs> uh, let us hope it's not uh, somebody from uh, where? From Ghana? Let us see. We are calling this Abdul. <clears throat> If any Muslim, he has the knowledge, he can call us and prove that Islam is not a stupid, silly cult, full of fiction story, is not even good for kids. Call us. Who want to do so? Call us and prove us wrong. Okay, this guy is not answering. If you are a Muslim, which is mean Muhammad and worship Muhammad because of black stone. You think that the Quran is not a laughable book. And that's why me, myself, I don't encourage burning the Quran. We need it to laugh at it. If you believe that Muhammad is not a cartoon maker and he is a joker. And if you believe that Allah is not a fiction God and his stupid stories is all over your Quran, please call me and prove me wrong. Who want to do that? You know, the Muslims, they are the fastest people to change uh, topic. Anything is embarrassing for them. Can you Christian Prince show me? Tell me please, Christian Prince, how believing that God have a son will make life better for us? <laughs> and this is what they do. They call you, explain to me the Bible. Like, hold on, you, my friend, we have a topic, okay? You know, no, I want to talk about the Trinity, okay? How the Trinity, I want to talk about Trinity. So they, they do anything to avoid the stupidity of their religion. And your question, my friend, is very easy to answer. When Jesus come to the earth, for the first time, you can see God. See the benefit? Your prophet never saw Allah, never heard Allah, never even heard the fart of Allah. And there is no witness that Muhammad, he heard anything anyway. I mean, you have one guy religion. <laughs> anyway, anyway, true story. <laughs> we go back to a Jassasa. I am a Jassasa. Who is a Muslim can tell us who is Mrs. A Jassasa? Any Muhammadan? And where this story coming from? 
either your religion is a full of fictions and stupidity or you can prove it to us and it is logical it's true and there is a base for it and where muhammad he learned this from who want to help us hmm? like yesterday we have a female muslims i thought i thought in the beginning she is a male because her voice sounds like uh, ali dawa you know i mean so so not male not female uh, and when we showed her that the uh, Muhammad he says shaitan he fought when the when he heard the prayer he says no 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 it doesn't say fart it says depart away I mean do you see how even they manipulate their own stories which is translated by them and I do not need translation it's in Arabic it says durat all right let's see Mr. Hassan is trying to call me Oh, Mr. Hassan is a praying. He's a praying, praying. He have to tell everybody he's a praying. He is a good religious person. He is a praying. Mr. Hassan is a praying. Praying to who? <laughs> you remind me of the Indonesian Muslims. They were praying in the direction of Somalia for the last 1,000 years. And Allah did not send them a warner until the Christian. They told them, hey, by GBS, okay? By GBS, you will find that you are praying to Somalia. 1,000 year. And Allah did not give those who believe in him, praying to him, that they are praying to the wrong direction. 1,000 year. Not 1,000 1, day. 1,000 year, my friend. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? Who is a Muhammadan is willing to tell us what is this? Is, where Muhammad he got this story from? And is it true that the Antichrist he have a female spy? You know, female spies, by the way. I mean, it makes sense. Female, you know, especially if she is sexy. She can go anywhere. Like you come to your door. And you are like let's say a leader or something you know like you know you're single or you know and you open the door you see a woman she is sexy and you know it hello sir you know, why why your voice like Ali Dawa? no i'm and i'm from Dawa, Dawa kind oh okay you are from the Dawa kind oh, okay what, what, what do you want can i get inside the house oh okay <laughs> sure sure yeah and say so then she go inside the house and then she spy at you so who is a Muslim can tell us where this is story from about a Jassasa? And listen, Muslims, if our program today finish and nobody will call us and tell us where the story came from, I'm going to come back maybe tonight or maybe tomorrow, the same topic. You better refute us. All right. Uh, uh, technically, yeah, technically. Abbasi, yeah, but don't talk to Muslims about techni it, 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 it technically. You know, those people they have no idea what technically mean. The Prophet said so. The Prophet says so, and you are saying technically. Oh boy. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us and tell us where this story coming from? Very simple. We are not asking you for much. Muhammad is a prophet of Allah. Okay. Therefore, this story should come from Allah. Wonderful. Who can tell me where this story came from? Any Muhammadan? Do we have any Muhammadan? How many Muslim now they are searching Google? Peace be upon him. Anyone? What is this story for? And when this Jassasa was exist? And who witnessed her? And what do you mean she is the spy of the Antichrist? Who as a Muslim would like to call us and tell us 
or you Muslims, whatever you hear, you just put it in your book. And like Muhammad, you know, Muhammad here, cartoon Mickey Mouse. You know, trust me, if Muhammad he have Mickey Mouse in his time, he will make the chapter of Mickey in the house. Any Muhammadan? Nobody? Well, uh, we can change the question, by the way. We make it if it's halal to eat ice cream, and then you will find 10 Muslims calling us. <laughs> Just ask silly questions, and you will see all of them, they volunteer. All of them, they volunteer to answer the questions, which is stupid questions. Like a brother, can we grow a frog at home? Is it halal to have a rabbit at home? Or a hamster, brother? Is it halal? Serious topics, Brian. I mean, this is serious. The end of the world depends on it. Can we keep hamster as pet in Islam? Look, this guy, he is doing what Muhammad does. Muhammad, he color his his beard, his beard red. He want to be blondie. <laughs> is it permissible to keep a hamster as pet in Islam? Dr. Muhammad Salah. Look, 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 we need a doctor to answer this question. Is it permissible to have a hamster? And by the way, you look like a hamster, seriously. I mean, why you color your beard like this? Don't you think it's look weird? I mean, you are not that blonde. And then you make your beard red. And what the heck? And now Dr. Muhammad Salah. And look at the other guy. The other guy is getting so excited to, to answer you about the hamster. Deep, that's deep. The whole Muslim nation is busy now. Is it halal to have a brother? The Islamic ruling, you need to know. That's deep. Sheikh Muhammad al Hili. What the heck? So they are so good in answering questions, is not even good for the zoo. A zoo question. The second you ask them serious a question, they are not the, nowhere to be found. Gwina pig is in Islam halal or haram? Interesting facts by a fan. That's deep. That's so deep. Man. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us? Shall we change the question on YouTube? Like, can I? Is it halal to eat ice cream? Is it halal to shave my underarm? <laughs> Let us see, Hassan. Hassan, he said he finished prayer now. He is ready. He have all the power from Allah. So we are going, we are trying to call Hassan. Now he pray, so he must be ready. And he got all the vitamin, vitamin A, D, C, you name it, you know. Yeah. Ruling in hamster. Look how many volunteer to the question, my friend. Ruling in hamster as a bet. Ruling, ruling. Now we know why we need rulers and caliphate in the Middle East. I mean, if without the caliphate, we will not know how to rule the hamster. The whole Muslim nation is busy with hamster. Maybe his real name is was a ham and star, like he is a star ham or hamster. <laughs> what does the Quran say about dogs? What the heck is that? That's deep. <whistles> Who is Allah? 60 minutes, alhamdulillah. You know what? I will shave my 20 foot beard if you can't tell me it was Allah. And then 600 wings. Allah have 600 wings. What is that? Who is a Muslim would like to join us, my friend? Come on. Look at the hamster. Don't be shy. Do it. What the heck is that? Hijabi woman, she is telling other women what to do in her... Uh, in her what? 
what what the heck i want to watch this one hold on guys i have to go sorry i i cannot really stay i need to watch this a hijabi tell a woman what she need to do in her bed 18 plus oh my mom is not here she will never know what i did and i will delete the history of my computer before she show up i'm going to watch it look how serious the topic right they, they are very conservative very very conservative muslimas all right hello here we go fakira <laughs> fakira uh, fakira was a praying brother a guy who work in a, as a driver for uh, delivery is is praying uh, you know yeah well, you stop delivering now when you're praying? Uh-huh, in the middle of the road. Or you are eating the pizza of the guys you are delivering for them. Who is a Muslim would like to call us and tell us really how you Muslims can believe in such a false party in religion? Shaitan Ford, women half half a brain. I mean, who is the one half half a brain? Seriously, who is he? You Muslims, you have religious studies about hamster and Mickey Mouse even they have a fatwa by the way to kill Mickey Mouse uh, yeah maybe we can make a video about Muhammad before burial but we have to be careful you know you were you need to wear a mask because Muhammad when they bury him he was very much so stinky okay so you might get an infection or something do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? Until now, the only female who volunteered to join us is Fakira, who keeps changing her voice. Anyone? What a funny, stupid religion. This is the religion of God. The Antichrist, he have a spy and she is a female? Really? And where she live? Who wanna call me and tell me the story of the Antichrist and the spy of the Antichrist? Talking donkey in the Bible. Who has Mickey Mouse book? And my friend, the donkey is you because you did not read the book carefully. This is how the angel of God he spoke, but it's not the donkey talking. Donkeys don't talk. However, the same story, but not the same actually, but the story as you are saying it, it's in your hadith where your prophet, he spoke to Yafur. And he asked him if he like females. And the donkey of the prophet, he said, oh, 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 I don't like females. So if you are laughing at it, laugh at your prophet. In my book, it doesn't say what you are saying. This guy, he was alone and he had only his donkey with him. Read the verse carefully. You are a hypocrite like your prophet. Do we have any Muhammadan here would like to join us and call us live on air? And by the way, the first one who commits suicide in Islam history, it was the donkey of the prophet Yafur. Because they used to have conversation about sex, females using condoms, uh, like that female, she was teaching you how what to do with your husband, you know. So the prophet is the only prophet of Allah who asked the donkey sexual questions, which is really deep. I mean, think about it, how blessing to donkeys, the prophet of Allah. The only person who was thinking, I need to ask him a question which nobody asked before. Hmm. Hey donkeys, do you like female donkeys? And guess what? This donkey was a homosexual. He don't like females. He got so upset. Hmm. The story in your books, read it. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? Who want to bet that no Muslim will call to answer about this question? They will not call. Because this is very embarrassing. They will avoid calling in any way, any mean.
Who is a Muhammadan is willing to call us and tell us what is a Jassasa and where this story came from. Where Muhammad got the story from? And trust me, if you don't answer it, I will go live again, maybe tonight or tomorrow, with the same topic. The source of the donkey will open uh, search for my video the cartoon i made about the story from the book of al-bidaya and nihaya ibn kathir you will find all the source in the cartoon which i made that cartoon cost me a lot of money by the way do we have any muhammadan you know what i don't mind if the antichrist he sent me a female spy and she is beautiful honestly I mean nobody knock at my door not even the postman female spy working for the Antichrist and what she is spying at where who a Muslim where we can find it Anyone? Any Muhammadan? So you are always, you know, you volunteer for answering all your questions as long as they are stupid and silly. The second we ask you a serious question, you are in the limbo. Nowhere to be found. Brothers and sisters, is it okay to eat uh, shrimp? Halal is, is it halal to eat shrimp, brother? Brothers, is it okay to suck the finger of my husband? Is it halal? No, sister. Yeah, sure. You know, the prophet said, you can suck everybody's finger, not only your husband. The prophet, he said, by the way, I learned, you know, like when I won't go to to, to like uh, restaurants, people they were amazed about how good I am in etiquette. You know, I mean, I know how to hold the spoon. I mean, if I don't use spoon, I mean, uh, everybody look at me. You know, uh, the prophet he is the first who started this wave of his stupidity. Of topic like this let me show you what I'm talking about that's deep Ibn Abbas reported that the Prophet saying when one of you eats he must not wipe his hand till he lick it or give it to someone to lick it mmm yummy yummy what the heck is that why why we should do that because the blessing and look look at the look at the answer guys look at the muslims they both put you into bracket such as a wife a husband etc <laughs> this is what islam is good about don't i i mean hey muslims what what is the what is the reason is it is it true that because there is a blessing in the food if you lick it Huh? Is it true? But, or I'm making things up. Christian Prince, this hadith is weak. No, it says sahih. It's all over, my friend. It's like a, it's all over like a poo, poo Somebody he did poo, poo have diarrhea and the fan is on. Hmm. What the heck is that, huh? Question like this, Muslim they will call to answer about a jasasa, they will not call. Oh, actually, if you think about it, that can save a global warming. We would not need uh, paper towels or even save water because you don't wash your hands, just give it your hand to somebody else and he start licking it. Hey, Muslims, what about uh, doing it? Uh, so why you don't have a dog? Oh, no, haram, dog is dirty, brother. Oh boy. Any Muhammadan here? 
This is the religion of God. Uh, amazing, amazing, beautiful, beautiful. You know, this hadith remind me of my of the stupid Google because I have an accent. So sometimes I use the voice command, and like once I said to uh, to uh, uh, like in a in a in a comment, I said I want I want to say I really like you, you know. But stupid Google said, I really, I want to lick you. <laughs> I want to lick you. <laughs> so you imagine you are reading the comment like, what the heck, what this guy, he just said to me, he want to lick me. <laughs> Never use Google, Google voice if you have an accent. I search for anything. Google give me the wrong uh, never 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 end this I have to repeat what I say like 20 times and I try to make it sound like better you know but I mean it doesn't matter and when you say it wrong Google understand me I don't know why honestly if I say it wrong totally wrong Google he get it oh boy so now I know where is I, I want to lick you coming from you know you know I would I would I would like to like you you know I would uh, yeah I would love to like you but you are stupid I would, but yeah, but it's case I would like to lick you. Hmm. Hmm. Do we have any Mohammedan here? Is it wrong to celebrate a Valentine Day? My friend, it's a Valentine Day, so it's not your day. Why you want to celebrate it? <laughs> celebrate Valentine. You know, look, I mean people they ask questions, people by the way. I mean I don't know, human being is silly. Is it wrong to celebrate Valentine Day? What is this Valentine Day? I mean what uh, you know who care? What is Valentine's Day exactly? By the way, behind it, there's a good story. I mean, there is an emperor. He decided not to let soldiers get married because they are going to war. So a Christian man, he stood against that. That's the whole story. It's not those commercial and buying a bear. I mean, why you want to buy a bear for your women? You are the bear. Oh, I forgot you lost your hair. So don't be uh, like uh, you know, uh, you know, like this generation today. They are just stupid, and everybody going to buy something in the Valentine Day. All right. <clears throat> yeah, those are just commercial occasions. They they lost their value. Everything they turn into commercial because a human being is a stupid, and they created Father Day, Mother Day. Homosexual day, women day, labor day, birthday. You know, I uh, I asked my mother which day I was born. She said, "Son, I don't know really. All what I know, it was a bad day." <laughs> and a human being is silly. He is just you know human being because he is so silly and empty, and he have a vacuum inside him. So he start looking for days to celebrate. Empty celebration. Anyway, أي أكثر حاجة متخلفة عملها محمد؟ My friend Steve, why you are saying عملها? Do you know what عملها mean? Man, that would be poopoo. <laughs> Yesterday was hijab day. What happened to Mimi hijab in that day? <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, a human being is really silly, and I advise you, if you are smart, don't be, don't be a, a consumer for stupidity. You know, like if we we celebrate a Christmas, but Christmas is not by spending money for lights and all the, you know, this is not what Christmas is about. Uh, uh, a new year, uh, you you can celebrate. There is days worth to celebrate for, but not by those things, and not even by buying clothes or you know, this is all have nothing to do with the occasion human being is silly anyway do we have any muhammadan here look ibn ka'b ibn malik reported from the authority of his father that he saw allah messenger licking his three fingers that's deep after having finished the food he muslims why three fingers What happened to the other two? 
I'm, I'm curious now. Maybe he don't have. Maybe he have only three fingers. Maybe he is a, a Trinity prophet. He believe in Trinity. Why? Why three fingers? What? What do you mean three fingers? Hmm. Yeah, Islam say Islam save life. I I saw the the video of the attack in the mosque just two days ago. One hundred policemen get killed and more than two hundred are dying. For sure, Islam save lives. I mean, every day there is a suicide attack everywhere because Islam save life. Kidnapping women, slavery in Africa, you know, sex slaves, raping them. Islam save lives for sure. Hmm. So any Muslim would like to call us and join us and tell us what's going on with Muhammad and the stories he brings. Where the story coming from? It just says, let's go back to our story. Our major story for today. Quran story. I am Jassas. Who is a Muhammadan would like to call us and tell us where this story coming from? Forget about licking the fingers. Anyone? <clears throat> nobody? Well, if nobody call us today, I am serious. I will come back at night, the same topic, and I will ask the same question. I want to know where Muhammad is getting his stories from. If you Muslim fail to tell me where Muhammad is getting his stories from, that means you fail to tell me how Muhammad became a prophet. That means are ashamed of Muhammad's stories, which is nothing but fairy tale stories. Not even good for kids. There's a female woman, she is a spy for the Antichrist. <laughs> Brothers and sisters. But just says she is a spy for the Antichrist. Okay. Mm. Uh, there is a guy he is posting something in Arabic but obviously he don't speak Arabic maybe he is using Google translation is that uh, Arabic ya Mursi? Harun saying in Arabic repent before the punishment of the grave Ooh. Ooh, well, you don't call us and tell us about it, so we can laugh. Punishment of the grave? You are you are dead now, and you are being going to be punished in the grave. And there is two angels will come to you, and they have a hammer, the hammer of Thor, and they will ask you three questions, and if you don't answer them, they will hit you in the your head, and you will go seventy cubits down in the earth, brother. Punishment of the grave? Are you sure? Where he got Muhammad? He got the story from? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy if you go right now and search in YouTube for punishment of the grave you will find tens of videos of the grave oh I did type in Arabic it's okay still I get the result Okay, I don't know. This guy is not answering. If you are a Muslim, text me, please, and I will call you. The grave punishment. Ooh. Oh, look, look at the drama. Look, look, look at the drama. I mean, oh, when you enter the grave. Ooh. Why Allah punish? <laughs> The people in their grave before the day of judgment, Zakar Nayak. But that's a tar. When a person he died, if he's a good Muslim, he will have a night grave. It's going to be 70 foot wide and he will have air conditioning and it's going to have LED light and he will have a stereo and night music. But if you are not a Muslim, do you ask yourself, when you die, what will happen to you when you go in the grave? I will tell you what happened to your grave. First, Allah will send you 99 dragons and they will go inside your anus. 
But the heck, 99 dragons will go inside the anus? I mean, why his anus? Somebody told, told you it's the cave of Alibaba? All those dragons will go inside the anus? I mean, are you sure they are dragon, not mosquitoes? What the heck? <laughs> And look, look how serious, you know, not a cleaning urine. Ooh. Yeah, you know, Muhammad, he heard, you know, the Jews, they say stories to their kids to keep them clean. So the Jewish woman, she, she told Aisha that, uh, you know, uh, if you don't clean yourself, Aisha, she's a kid, you know, Muhammad, as you know, he married, married a six years old girl. If you don't, you know, keep the urine far away from your feet, uh, you will be punished in the grave. I, she told her, you're a liar. What are you talking about? Muhammad, he came out of the bedroom. He said, what you are talking about? He heard the Jewish women she, saying that. And since then, he never stopped saying, we seek refuge by Allah from the punishment of the grave. <laughs> look, 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 look how serious this topic is. Fear of the punishment of the grave. <laughs> Punishment in the grave for uh, abandoning Quran. <laughs> so there's a punishment for uh, urine. Uh, actually, hold on. What is the major punishment of the grave reason? Oh boy. Urination is the main cause of punishment in the grave. That's deep. The funny is, Muslim been ordered to drink camel urine. And now a little urine touch your foot when you are pissing. You will be tortured in the grave, brother. This is the major reason. Da 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 da, da 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 da, da 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 da. When you piss around, when you piss around, be be careful not to miss around. If you miss around, if you miss around, Allah will punish you under the ground. La 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 la, la 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 la, la 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 la. What the heck is that, man? This is science. So now you are dead. And because of like, Allah is writing down the guy he pissed in his foot. <laughs> put it there, put it there. He just made me angry. He pissed. There's a drop of piss in the day of etc. In the month of etc. In the year of etc. Drop on his foot. And now I'm going to punish you for doing pissing etc. What the heck is that? This is a hit song, my friend. This is not a this is not a hit song. This is a piss song. <laughs> correction, correction. What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so Harun in Arabic he said to us. Repent before the punishment of the grave. Hey, Harun, I said to you, urine, urinate, my friend, before you go to the grave. Actually, in fact, your prophet, the last thing he did before he went to the grave, it was urine. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> So do we have any Muhammadan here who would like to join us and tell us how, where do you Muslims get your story from? Where is the Antichrist even story coming from? Do you have it in your Quran? Tawai, Tayaw, Akandi, you challenge me, my friend. So what are you waiting for? Are you waiting for me until I go to the grave and then you come and you ask me three questions like the angels of Allah? I tell you from now, I will not be able to answer you, brother. <laughs> Christian plans, I challenge you. you. Call me. What what kind of a challenge? This challenge is that like a, you know silence? 
challenge? Hmm? Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us live on air and tell us where Muhammad he gets his stories from? Either those stories are true stories, can be supported, or they are fiction and stupid stories. Uh, I want to know the origin of the word Allah because I know it exists before Islam, no problem. Well, it's very easy. The origin of the word is La, not Allah. Allah is two words. A-L, which means God or the. In Arabic today, the word A-L or two letters, they mean the. But in the original language, which is coming from the Aramaic, A-L is a word present God. So A-L, God, La, that is the name of Allah. And La is an, an old name for the cursed uh, moon God. Not to, not to the moon, not to the moon. It is the crescent moon. That, because some stupid one, they will say to you, they think when we say the moon god, we are talking about the moon. No, no, no. The moon god is a god who is in charge of the moon. And the sun god is a god who is in charge of the sun. So those who worship the moon god, they are not worshiping the moon. They are worshiping the god of the moon. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? Anyone? Hey Muslims, so Muhammad he have sex with the children, Allah will not punish him. But if you have little, little urine in your foot, you will be punished. Who support that? Hmm? Anyone? If you are here first time, uh, please leave. Because you will become addicted and you will keep coming. And then your wife, she will leave you. I'm just telling you. More than 90% of the viewer here are males. Females don't like our program. You know, females, they like something more serious. You know, like, <clears throat> you know, like shopping. Yeah, not all of them for sure, I mean. But here we can do shopping program for females so they can join us. Let us shop, let us shop for uh, camel urine. Okay? Yeah. But you know, there's one thing Muhammad he said, I like it really very much. I mean, I have to, I have to be honest with you. Oh. <sighs> All of us, all of us, we ask for a transparency in our relationship. But we never thought that Allah, He will give us women who have literally transparency in their bones. And we can see through their bones, brother. Look at this. How beautiful. The Prophet said the first batch of people who will enter paradise by the way, in Arabic, we don't say paradise. We say paradise because we don't have the letter P. Okay? We're glittering because Muhammad is racist, so everybody will be so white. But how white? How white exactly? Listen, listen carefully. Mm. So he said, like a full moon, very shiny, man. And the batch next to them will be glittering like a brilliant star. So Muhammad now is fixing it. So Muhammad, the idiot, he think, that the first ones, they are more white and more bright because they are the, like the moon. But the second one is like a brilliant star <laughs> because they are not good ones. They are not the best, you know. The, the first batch is the is the best. So Muhammad, he think that the moon is more bright than a brilliant star. Mm. Their heart will be as a heart of, uh, okay. And then just go there, go, just go to the, to, the, to, the, to the cheese. And then... Their heart will be as the heart of a single man. Oops, what the heck? For they will have neither enmity nor jealousy among themselves. Sex, you know, open sex, like sex, you know, speak with everybody. Everybody sleep with everybody. Everyone will have two wives from the Huris. Two, I thought, 72. What happened? Muhammad dropped the number today. Who will have, will be so beautiful and pure and transparent to the point they can see the marrow of their bones, of their legs. They will be seen, brother. 
And you know, all of us, we knew. I mean, how much sexy you want a woman to be. Hmm? I mean, we have to be truthful, brave, and face reality. I think this is what Andrew Tate he like about, you know, he said to himself in my web camera business, I have only women in the camera, but if I can have an X-ray, that will improve the business. So look at this. Look, let me show you. Hold on. The benefit of the X-ray of Allah. This is your wife in heaven now. She is going to do shopping. <laughs> All days is over. You cannot hide anything in your purse. Not even in your wallet, not even in your pocket, not even in your ass, not even in your belly. I can see them all. Brother, who can come with such imagination of a beauty except Allah and his prophet Muhammad? Who? Nobody. Let us be honest. This is heaven. A woman, she is see-through, transparent. And you know, just to feed your imagination, so you might convert to Islam, just to feed it, you know, with some images. I hope you behave, guys, please. I mean, don't get excited or, you know, horny or something. This is your wife in heaven. And Prophet of Allah never told a lie, by the way. I mean, look at her. Look, she is wearing high heels. And this is what men like, correct? And now she is laying down and you can see through. Who can beat such a beauty? Just think about it. Oh, look, look. Your wife, she even might move and do some like tricks. Like, you know, look, look at this one. Oh, boy. I mean, let us be honest here. Who can resist this? Oh, look at this one. Oh, boy. Things is getting more complicated. Oof. That's hot. Oh, boy. Look where she have her hands. I don't want to even look. Brother, please don't look there. Brother. Prophet Muhammad, thank you very much. Look at this one. Oof. Mean. Brother, oh, look at this one. What the heck is that, man? I mean, what, what are you doing? Oh, this is a sideway see-through. And no Muslims see that this is something stupid mentioned by their prophet. You can see the marrow of their bones. I hope you don't have a dog. If you say that to him, he will go crazy. This is a promise of God. So now those are women are beautiful now. Are you sure they are beautiful really? I mean, are you getting, are you getting excited? What this woman she is doing? I'm going to report her to the Sharia police. Haram. This is haram. Aridawa, he made a video of a woman. She's saying she like to share her husband with her friends. Sister, stop, sister. Stop, sister! What is it the Quran says she can do so? What's wrong with you? Do we have any Muslim? Where Muhammad got those stories from? Until now, we got zero Muslim. He want to call us. <clears throat> okay, let's call this guy again. If he didn't answer this time, I will block him. Anyone? That's amazing. Maybe I should have changed the picture because I don't want too many men to be like, you know, under the influence. Hello? Hello? It must be Fakira. Hello? Are you there, Fakira? Okay, take a hike. Oh boy, will it look like nobody, no Muslim want to answer us? And our question is very simple, Ajassasa. Where Muhammad got the story of so-called Ajassasa from? 
if there is any Muhammadan can help us. Anybody? Anyone? Where are those fiction stories coming from? How we can examine them? If you don't call me and refute me today, I promise you, I will come with the same question in the coming broadcast. And everybody will see that you, Muhammadan, you are very much embarrassed with Muhammad fiction stories and promises. Anyone? Hello? Punishment of the grave, the spy of the Antichrist. The Antichrist, he split the man to pieces, he put him together. The Antichrist, he ordered the earth to make gold and the earth will give gold while Muhammad was begging for donation and saying, who want to give Allah, brother and sisters? Today we finish our debate with, the, with, the, with David Wood. And as you see, brother and sisters, there's 130,000 people convert to Islam a year, convert out of Islam a year. And so like the guy, he just finished the debate and now he want to ask for donation. Not even two hours after. And supposedly they are the one who will save you from leaving Islam. Hmm. Yeah, I remember, you know. I remember holes in the narrative. Yeah, Juju Ama Juj. The gifts. I should use Discord. Why I want to use Discord, my friend, if I have uh, women who they are see through. I mean, don't you? Are you getting my point? If I am in the technology of see through through women, why I want to go to Discord where everything is blind? I see nothing there. <laughs> I mean, you guys are really funny. You give me an idea. It's not valid. It is uh, outdated. We are in the time where we can see through women. You know? Actually, oh, please don't tell the airport authority because now they will ask Muhammad to buy his technology uh, so they can see women specifically. The women she walk through that, you know, we see through. Do we have Muhammad here? You know, okay. Yeah, Sheikh Yasser Kadhi. The signs of the end of the time. You know, this guy, by the way, he changed his statement depend on the mood and the weather. So in one video, he is talking about Gog and Magog and the sign, etc. In the other video, he says, <laughs> if you believe there is a dam built between between us and those people, you have something wrong with you. <laughs> and then uh, Zakir Naik, he decided to refute uh, Yasser Kadhi. He's totally wrong. That's deep. If, 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 totally, not partially. I want you to focus with me with the title, Totally. <laughs> uh, Sheikh Dr. Yasin Kadhi positions on Goog and Magoog. Oh, okay, okay. What the heck? Oh, this is me, Christian Prince. Yasir Kadhi, Goog, Magoog. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh... Who built the Great Wall? The Muslim now they are saying that the Great Wall is the wall built by Alexander the Great between us and Gog and Magog. So Gog and Magog are the Chinese. Man. You know, when I when I went to Singapore, I met a Chinese. They don't look like anything to do with the Gog and Magog people, my friend. <laughs> they are nice people. What Gog and Magog? <laughs> And each one of them don't have 1,000 kids before he die. Oh, boy. Because according to Muhammad, they will have 1,000. Each one of them before he die, he will have 1,000 
son. Just imagine. I mean, are you sure, Muhammad, that you are talking about, you are not talking about crap? I mean, 1,000 men, kids, for a person from Gog and Magog, each one of them? And why what not like why not a thousand and one? Yeah, sure, sure, yeah. Refutation of Yasser Qadi. Look, the Muslim they are refutation, refute Yasser Qadi before, Yasser Qadi after. The story of Gog and Magog one year ago. Hoo, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Christian prince versus Muslim guy. Judgment day. Look, this guy he put his finger up. That's mean when you see the finger up, that's mean the Muslim is going to do something wrong. Okay. Sheikh Omran, Gog and Magog, Sheikh Omran on Russia and China. Ooh, so Gog and Magog, once they are Turkish, once they are Russian, once they are Chinese. I mean, what the heck? And you notice, by the way, that a Muslim by nature, he's born as a thinker. I mean, just look at this guy. Look, can you look like him? Look, what the, the, why the video is playing? I want to show you the picture. Hmm. He put the microphone on his in his nose. Okay, sniff. Three ways to cleanse your heart. Oof, 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 oof. Okay, hold on. You just give me an idea. I think we can cleanse our heart by doing the following. We jump with water, have dead dogs. Three ways, look, everything in Islam is three ways. Everything in Islam is three. Mm. And then now zero Muslim call us. I mean, what I can do? So the Prophet, he found the ways to clean himself and he found the three object they can help you to cleanse yourself. What are they, the object? What is required? Let us, let us look at the recipe. So this is the recipe to clean your heart. Number one, blood of menstruation from women. Mixed with the clothes. This is number one. Number two, dead dogs is required. Flesh of dead dogs. Number three, stinking garbage. You throw it all in the water and you jump in it. And the Muslim making videos about how to clean your heart. Have you ever heard of a recipe like this before? Let us be serious. This is the best recipe ever. Like imagine, you know, there's, uh, there's people, they are obsessed with the, you know, like jacuzzi and tacuzzi and those stuff, you know. So like they jump in the jacuzzi and, uh, you know, they want to now like, uh, and they make a video about it. Uh, and now you add shampoo. Oh, oh, okay. And now you add this perfume. Oh, that's something. That's what the commercial says. And then you put some candles around you. If, 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 if I will be dead asleep by then. All right, all right. What, what else? What else? You know? But the truth is that Prophet Muhammad, he was before his time. He come with things nobody knows. Jacuzzi. Jacuzzi. Have nothing to do with Jack. Or even the Israeli Uzi. Where it's coming from? A question we need answer for it. Who is the first one who come with the idea of jacuzzi? Many false news. Many false answers about jacuzzi. If your name is Jack and your birthday is tomorrow, please don't forget to visit our store, Jack Uzi store, and get your treatment. It is a three recipe, menstruation, cloth, dead dogs, and stinking stuff. Your wife, she can buy it for you and will make your life different. End of commercial break. 
The truth is that the first one who come with the idea of jacuzzi is not Jack. It's not even his last name, Uzi. It was Prophet Muhammad. He told them, bring me ministration clothing. Dead dogs, perhaps. And don't forget the stinky garbage. Mix it all together and let the foam vibrate. And the smell come to you. And this is how you can make pure jacuzzi. That's deep. That's cold. Who can beat this? And what uh, Yasser Kadhi is teaching us how to cleanse your heart. Three things you need to cleanse your heart. I see them three things in the front of me. Women, blood ministration. In the old days, they used to use rags. Dead dogs, which makes sense. I mean, you cannot use them as they are if they are alive. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I mean, use your, your uh, common sense and the stinky stuff. Do we have any Muslim here can <clears throat> call us and help us with the jacuzzi of Prophet of Allah? I mean, why he's so clean? I'm serious. Why he is so clean? And when people they were walking by, they asked him, Prophet, what are you doing, man? He said to them and he shut them up. Look at the answer. Look at the deep answer. Hmm. Water is always pure. And nothing make it impure. Nothing, 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 nothing. That's so deep. So we put the dogs in the jacuzzi. Still, it's a pure water. We put women blood from menstruation and rags. Still, it is pure water. We put garbage, which is stinking. Still, it's a pure water. And the Muslim, they have tons of videos about the high genes of Islam. The high what? Genes. Genes. Is that genes like the wear in, you know, the American cowboy thing? No, no, gene, gene, not genes. What, what's wrong with you? This is the high gene. He was high, taking hashish, obviously. Where Muhammad got the story from that you can have all those stuff in little tiny water in the size of a jacuzzi and you jump in it and still the water is pure? Hmm? I mean, find me one story. Muhammad, he said, one thing he said is not stupid. Any Muslim can help us? Until now, we have zero Muhammadan is willing to call us and join us. Totally in disability. The title scared them. You know, they knew that their, their prophet is a false prophet. He got false fiction stories, even not good for kids. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim? Hey, Muslim, I'm drinking coffee. It's halal. Is it halal? Or you insist? to serve your camera urine. It's more halal. Hmm. <clears throat> Anyone? Yeah, exactly. And they say the Christians are najis. They say that we are filthy. The Quran says, and the Muslims say, Christians and Jews and Hindus and Buddhas, etc. They are najis, which means very filthy. And look what Muhammad, he takes shower with. And can they say this is weak? No. You see, here it says, Sahih. Sahih. Brothers and sisters, the Hadith says Sahih, but in truth, it means it's not Sahih. They forgot to add the word not. I swear by my not, which I don't have, that it says Sahih, not. Lady Dawa, <laughs> Mimi Hijab, <laughs> Sahih not? Hmm. 
Shakib, why you don't call me, my friend? And you can share with us what you want to say. Why Muslims always? They try to change the topic. Is that because you are proud of your prophet or because you are ashamed of your prophet? Just be honest with me, Shakib. What is the point exactly? Hmm? Do you like to call me, Shakib? Or you are Shushu? You are Shak and Eeb. By the way, do you know what Shakib mean? All Muslims, by the way, they have Arabic names, but they have no idea what those names mean. The second you ask him what the name mean, he will say Allah knows best. What Shakib mean? You do not know even what your name means. Just call me, call me. So we can see and we can love together. Do we have any Muhammadan here? <coughs> Hmm? Anyone? Hmm? <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> Any Mohammedan? Do Shakib dare to call us? He don't. He's a potato. Potato, potato, potato. And not only that, Shakib. I will. You can call me, and I will allow you even to read the verses you wanted for us from the Bible. And we will see who is going to laugh at who. Do you like to call me? Do you dare? You don't. Potato. Potato, potato, potato. Potato, potato, potato. Potato, potato, potato. Ta 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 ta. I like to dive the skin. I like to skip it in. I like to fry it all. I make it like a bowl. And they run away from me. And they don't care to dare to call me. And we laugh at them all. And Muslims leave Islam. And there is in the narrative a big hole. Any Muhammadan? Hmm? Nobody. Look like Muslims, they have big mouth in the chat. But they don't dare to call us. You know, there is one reason they don't dare to call us because simply they knew that they are, you know, uh, afraid. Hmm. Just to show you how Muslim they insult Jesus. How many times I said to you that Muslims they hate Jesus and they are antichrist people? Look what this Muslim he says. And I'm going to show it in the screen. And I will translate for you. This guy, he said, do and do nikah to your religion, which means go and F your religion, nikah. See, the Muslim agree that the word nikah does not mean marry. Nikah, F. F your religion, which is corrupted. But you know what? Your religion is nothing but a pimp. Look who is talking about pimps. Hey, brother. Uh, don't you know that your best man who converted to Islam lately is a pimp and you Muslim, you praise him in every Muslim channel? Don't you know that it's okay to be a pimp in your religion in the chapter of Al-Ahzab? Hmm? Is it true? Uh, is it true that you can hire girls as long as they agree to open their legs and take off their panties and they can do that? Uh, ya Salahuddin. يوال ما تختي شيء رسولك ابن متع قد ولد أربعة سنوات بعد موت أبيه الغير معلوم وقرآنك قال بالفصيح العربي لا تكره فتياتكم على البغاء إن بغينا تحصنا أي أنك يجوز لك يا معرص أن تفتح خانة للتعريس 
في بيتك ومع نسائك طالما أنك لم تكرههم على البغاء يا باري. And then he says, uh, all three for one, all of them, they had the F word with Mary. Do you see how they insult Mary? So they insult Jesus, they insult Mary, and they claim that Islam respect Jesus and his mother. A Bedouin man who is a leader of a tribe, he came to Muhammad and he said to him, let us exchange. Give me, you know, give me this wife. Give me, give me this. Oh, sorry, no, he give him, give me this uh, woman. Muhammad, she said, this is the mother of the believer. Aisha, she said to him after he left, how does man he dare to say such a thing to you? Which means, how come you did not do anything? I mean, the guy asked you in front of you to sleep with me. What Muhammad said, oh, this is the mother of the believers. Muhammad, after he left, he says, he is a fool we have to obey which means if he insists to take you I will give you to him we go back to the story who is going to call us and tell us about a jassasa huh any Muhammadan The major point of attraction for anyone, if he have no brain, if he have zero ethic, like Andrew Tate, if he is a criminal, if he is a person he like rape and violence, if he is a person he like to take advantage of the weak one. As simple as that. Islam is against justice. Islam even against the poor. You know, one of you in the previous video, he made a comment. I did put it in the top. Muhammad, he ordered that if a man he steal, but he is the biggest thief. I mean, we have chapters in the Quran about theft. He stole. He is a caravan attacker. He attacked the caravan to steal from the caravan. He attacked the Christian, the Jews. He took their money, their land, their gold. There's a stories about even torturing people to tell where they hide their money. But if you steal... An egg, they cut your hand. But all of us, we knew that if a man, he is still an egg because he is hungry, obviously, he want to feed his kids. What is the mercy? If you search right now, you will find tens of articles talking about Muhammad was sent as a mercy for mankind. As a mercy for mankind. And you cut the hand for a stay in egg? Is that the mercy? Isn't it obvious this person is just hungry, he wanna eat? Actually, when you see somebody stay in egg, it's mean the society are bad to the point nobody wanna give him little food to eat. So he might go and do bigger crime. He might kill somebody in the street to take his money. So let him eat. Otherwise, he might turn to be a killer. There is a story in the Hadith. If I show it to you, you will die laughing. Literally. Actually, I don't, I don't think there is a Muslim here there to call us and read the story. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Hmm? Any Muslim? Let me see if I can find the hadith, the one I, I'm talking about, so we can laugh at a little bit.
Let us see. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I will show you why I believe Islam is a low IQ belief and only people who have low IQ believe in it. Let us see if we can find the hate. Hold on. I'm just trying to find the English translation. I have the hadith in Arabic, actually. But I need the English one. Here we go. Read this story with me. And see how stupid Islam is. And see how Muhammad and the Muslim, they fabricated stories. Who is a Muslim is willing to call us and he can be proud about it. Who is a Muhammadan? He is willing to call us and he is proud about this story. Anyone? Let us read together as long as the Muslims are ashamed. A thief, we can give you whatever hadith you want, which is going to be sahih. You know, we don't want to give you something you don't approve. As you see, this is Hassan, this is good, and the other one it says, authentic so a man he is a thief he brought to Muhammad okay he's just a thief what Muhammad said kill him how you kill a thief in Islam you cut his hand in Islam you cut his hand and not only that shouldn't you investigate if this guy really he he you know he stole maybe they are accusing him falsely Kill him right away. So they brought the man to him. He stole. He said, kill him. The people said, but prophet, he just committed theft. Which means even the people don't approve it. Isn't it you who told us uh, cut his hand or cut his feet for theft? Depending on how many times. So the message of Allah uh, said, okay, Cut off his hand. So now this is the first time he still cut his, his hand. So his right hand is, was cut off. He was brought for the second time. And the Prophet said, kill him. The people said, but the Prophet of Allah, he just committed theft. He said, okay, okay. Cut his foot from the other side, which means they cut the right. You know, this is what they do. The Quran says, min khilaf, which means the opposite. So cut his left foot. So they cut his right hand. Look at the torture. Look at the fifth religion. Are you going to fix the guy now? He will not do theft no more. So he has committed theft. What is the theft? He stole an egg. He stole a zucchini. So he has committed theft. The Messenger of Allah said, okay, cut him off his foot. So they cut his left foot off. They brought him for the third time. And here the story getting very, really weird. And this is how you know that these Muslims are a bunch of liars when they speak about their prophet. He was brought at the third time and he said, kill him. And here the Muslim trying to tell you, uh, at the end you will see what, what, why he keeps saying kill him. The prophet said, but he committed theft. So the messenger of Allah, he said, okay, okay, cut off his hand. So now they are cutting off his left hand. So remember, he lost his right hand already. He lost his left foot already. And now he is losing his left hand. Okay. So they cut his hand, the left hand off. He brought for the first time. The prophet said, kill him. The people said, but prophet, he has committed theft. He said, okay, cut off his foot. So they cut his foot. So now he have no hands. He have no feet. And now they brought him for the fifth time. I mean, the guy, he have no feet. 
He have no hands and he is stealing. Who is the donkey behind this story? The guy, he have no hands left. He have no feet to walk. How he can steal for the fifth time? Any Muslim want to help me? Those are, this is what Islam is about. Stupid stories, you know. Uh, they are, uh, you know, they, they, you know. I believe this story is a is just just a joke, you know. I mean, the Muslim they start saying lies. Three hundred years after Muhammad, they start adding stories about Muhammad. They never happened. What is this? Who in the world wanna believe such a thing happened? Fifth time. How the guy can move? How he can grab anything? This is Islam, my friend. Islam is not even for kids, good for kids. It's just a stupid cult. We can't even call it a religion. The guy, he cannot move anywhere. He lost his feet. You know, we're not talking about the time where you can have a chair with wheels and, you know, that like you have a bus can take you down and up and you have all the technology to help you with many things. At that time, if you lose your feet, that's it. You cannot go anywhere. You have to creep in your belly. The whole purpose of the story, the Muhammadan, they want to tell you that Muhammad, he knew the future. He knew the unseen. He's God. Do you see? Did you, did you remember I said to you? Later, you will know why he keeps saying kill him. So when the man, he come first time and he did commit theft. According to Islam, if you commit a theft first time or second time, doesn't matter. They cut your hands only, hands or feet or etc. As you see, no killing. No killing for theft. But Muhammad, he changed the decision. He said, kill him because Muhammad, he knew the future. He is Allah. He knew this guy would steal nonstop. He's God for the Muslims. Uh, Hassan, uh, first of all, how you can prevent stealing if the best of the Muslims is a thief and even the Muslims, they accuse him to be a thief. Isn't it the Quran says that Muslims accuse the Prophet that he stole an underwear? So why we don't cut the, the Muhammad hand right away? Your Prophet did not even investigate if he steal anything. To do it, investigate. Maybe they are lying, so we cut his hand. So you're a prophet is a thief. He steal even people from their families, kids from their families, women, children's money. So if you want to stop people from stealing, then you forbid stealing. But you Muslims are allowed to steal from non-Muslims. When Muhammad was accused in the Quran that he stole an underwear, And this is additional proof that Muhammad cannot be a prophet of God, neither the companion, they are good people. Because imagine what kind of people they accuse their best man, their prophet, that he's stolen underwear. It's impossible. You have to be low class trashy to accuse your prophet that he is a thief. That is telling us what kind of a quality of the Muslims in the beginning of Islam. Are you with me? Imagine, may the Lord forgive me for what I will say, imagine that John accusing the Messiah that he stole an underwear. Imagine that Matthew accusing the Messiah that he stole an underwear. That will be hilarious, isn't it? The companion of Muhammad, they are accusing their prophet that he stole an underwear. And then Allah, he decided to defend Muhammad. How? He said he did not took it. Actually, that to prove that he did. Why? How we know? Because we are talking about somebody, he is God supposedly, so he should know who took it. 
Is it enough for Allah to say he did not take it? Shouldn't you tell us who took it? So we go to his home and maybe he's wearing it. Take off your clothes right away. We'll see it on him and get him busted. So if Allah is God and now Muhammad being accused of being a thief stealing underwear, laundry, the guy is still laundry. Why the Quran did not tell us who is the one who took the underwear? Until now, the underwear is missing. And if you know any information, please call the authority. This is your religion. So how you want to stop a thief when your God is a thief? Actually, all the stories we are reading in front of us are a theft. Maybe except this one. Mary, she is the sister of Aaron, the seven sleepers. Alexander the Great is a Muslim. He found where the sun set. All those are theft. Muhammad, he took them from other nations. By the way, I heard there is a there is an ex-Muslim. His name is Ahmad. Is that correct? Ahmad. Uh, 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 join his channel. Support the guy. We, we, we always should support those who expose Islam, doesn't matter who they are. I don't know him, I never, you know, I, I, one of you sent me a video of him, he speak Arabic, uh, support him. Always when you see somebody exposing Islam, especially ex-Muslims, especially ex-Muslims, give them your support. You do not need me to tell you, you know, that this is something you should do voluntarily. You know, because uh, we need more people to expose this garbage. And everyone, he do it in his, in, in his way, you know. Uh, do we have any Muhammadan here? Any Muhammadan? No Muhammadan, that's it? What happened? Nobody wanna tell us about the story of the Antichrist spy? Muslim, if you don't tell us, if you don't call us now, we are going to go live again and we will keep asking the same question. Anyone? Okay, any half one? As long as we cannot get one, maybe we can get half. You know, the word half remind me of the story of uh, Solomon. Anyone have a connection? Anyone knows, like, he, he knew what I'm going to say now? Solomon, he decided to have sex with 100 women in one night, which is something we Middle Eastern, we can do so easy, my friend. I mean, I, I don't want to tell you about what I can do and what my can, my, you know, I mean, come on. Very, very normal. All right? So, uh, He decide to boom, boom, a hundred women. And by the way, Muhammad, he can't even repeat the story twice correctly. One time he says 90 women. One time he say 99. One he say 100. One he say 70. I mean, Muhammad is talking and the and the poopoo is coming. He keep giving gifts like, uh, like uh, Joe Biden. Like, you know the thing. So every story have different number. Like here it says, 90 women today i'm going to do boom boom i don't want to use the f word but this is what it says i'm going to go around over 90 women i will f them and i will have okay uh, one child from each look how easy i think solomon he should marry a crab one crab can give you like five million eggs hmm if you go down here, Muhammad, he sorry, uh, Solomon, 
he decided to do intercourse to 70 wives. Look, the number changed. Here is 70. Do you see? Do you see the, ch the change of the number? <laughs> A second ago, it was what? 90. Now it is 70. Muhammad, he is very good. You know, he tell the truth. Okay. Here it is 60. Read with me carefully. I will visit Suleiman, he said. I will visit each one of them. How many? 60 wives. Do you see it? So here is 60. The one before it's 70. The one before it's 90. Let us continue. Here it is 100. My friend, Jao. Don't repeat the same question a hundred times. We are talking about the topic. I mean, at least take a breath, man. The prophet Solomon, son of the prophet, thank you for telling us his son of whom? He forgot to tell us who was his neighbor. Say tonight I will go around, i.e. have sexual relationship with 100 women. Muhammad, once he make it 60, once he make it 70, one he make it 90, one he make it 99, one he make it 100. It's the Muhammad, you know, this is Muhammad, what you can say? Muhammad, he make poopoo, whatever you go. This is why we have too much fertilizer. All right? Anyway. And now he decided to have sex with all of them, but then Allah, he gave him a half child. Half. What do you mean half? Read, read with me, read and laugh. This is a religion. And why? Because he forgot to say, inshallah, before he ate them. Do you see it? Must be a true story. I mean, you stupid Solomon, how in the world you start ifing a woman without saying, inshallah? Here we go. You F 100 women, and then Allah, He punish you, He give you half person. I wonder where's the other half? Stories. Muhammad is the sheikh of the stories. So why all those people who they are, you know, Hindu, Buddhist, atheist, Christian, Jews, they don't say inshallah before they have sex and they don't have a half person. And how many of you Muslims, and by the way, did Muhammad father said inshallah before he f the mother of Muhammad? The guy was a pagan. Is that why Muhammad is a half man? How anyone look like a half a child? That's very easy. Look at Ahmadinejad and you will find out. Do we have any Muhammadan here? This is religion? He said he did not say inshallah. Do you remember when I when I called Mimi Hijab? I said to him, "Why you don't say Inshallah?" But we did not get a chance. He he, he escaped the question because this is why it's important in Islam. If you don't say Inshallah, you are doomed. Uh, Sakib, uh, my friend, I do not. I'm not ignoring my friend. Ignoring what? Call me and be a man. You are just a Sakib. A second ago, you were a Shakib. What happened to you? You became Sakib now? Sakibo Bibo. You have Halibo. You punch him once. He bring you Jibo. Do we have any Muslim here? Can't tell us where those stories came from. 
What the heck is this? And how Muhammad he learned this information? Was he a real witness? Hmm? Uh, Sabi'in and Nasara and what is different in time span? Well, there is nothing. It's called time span. Time span between them. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know why you are mentioning the time span between them. I'm not sure what the question is about. But the Sabi'in are a very old religion. Very old. Even the Sabi and they believe that the Pharaoh is one of them. The Sabian, this is why the Sabian they hate the Jews. In the books of the Sabians, it says that Adonai is Satan. Why? Because he ordered his people, the Jews, to do circumcision to themselves. Yet Muhammad he stole circumcision from the Jews. And he considered the Sabian people of God when they are believing in different gods. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? May they, may they, may they. Or the Sabian and Yazidi, the, you know, Sabian are, you know, Yazidi is one of, uh, of the Sabian belief. There's many uh, believe, but all of them, they share almost the same thing. They believe that there's many creators and those creators they, they call them uh, 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 what the name hold on I forgot man I mean, uh, they are like angels you know the same as the idea of angels but they are creators there's there's high rank angels who create and there's lower rank who take care they are the carrier and uh, uh, as an example the Yazidi they believe that shaitan is the only one to fear so they uh, they like let us say they have a kind of ceremony to worship him uh, because he is the one who can hurt them so they avoid him to hurt them by worshiping him or pleasing him yet yet muhammad he considered them as people who will go to hell to heaven sorry and until now the muslim cannot answer how in the world they will go to heaven The Sabian and Christians and Jews are totally the opposite. They have a book, it's called Kenza Rabba. Kenza Rabba. If you read actually Kenza Rabba, you will find that the Quran is exactly written like Kenza Rabba. Kenza Rabba, the original, it was in the Aramaic language. Let me see if I can show you. I used to have the book actually, but not sure where to find it. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, they used to have a download link. I don't see it anymore. Okay, let's see. Maybe I still have it, but the name of the file changed. Let us see.
and this seed is 1. Actually, I wrote about them already in my coming book, which is going to be called The Roots of the Quran. Yeah, maybe I will, you know, uh, I will leave it for, for this for now. This is my coming book, The Root of the Quran, which is, you know, mentioning stories, where they are coming from, how Muhammad, how, how Muhammad, he generate his stories, uh, how his fabrication work, where, where the, uh, the roots of all those stories, which is very important for those who want to go deep uh, to find out really with reference where all the stories coming from and for sure in the book we will go way me way deeper uh, in the roots than just making a video speaking to Abdul online <clears throat> yeah they used to have actually a book of Kanza Rabba in uh, you can download as uh, like a flash, which is nicer. Okay, it says But for some reason, when I click, it's not really downloading. Let us see here, Microsoft. Okay, I see an option to download. Let us see if it's going to work. Yeah, for some reason, when I click download, it's not coming. Anyway, when you open it, you will see that you are reading the Quran. It's look exactly like the Quran, the same method, the same way of writing, uh, 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 the same way of uh, uh, speaking. It is the same as the Quran. No. Let me open it in different browser. Maybe the different browser will allow me to download. Let's just see. Give me a second. Be my witness, zero Muslims until now. So now we, what we will need to do, we will come back online again, maybe today or tomorrow, and we will ask the same question about a Jassasa because until now, zero Muslim there. Uh, you see, I changed the browser, and now I can uh, uh, download. Okay, that's good. It wasn't working in... But let me see now, as long as I found the name of the file, Ginza. Yeah, it looks like the file is not in my computer no more. So it's good to download. Okay, let us see here. Uh, for some reason, did not open. Yeah, still did not work. Anyway, maybe you can do it on your side. As you see, be my witness. Zero Muslim there to call us, zero Muslim there to answer us. Zero Muslim can explain because simply uh, Muhammad obviously is a fraud. So now, because the Muslim they refuse to come and to answer about, about the topic, what we will do? We are going to come again with the same topic, maybe tonight or tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and if you are not getting notified, Zaminar, wanna call me? Okay, what he's waiting for? Let me see in Skype if I have anybody. I, I don't see any Muslim texting me. <clears throat> I see zero Muslim. All right. Muslim, do. They will call you only if the topic is not embarrassing and if they can change the topic like 
the Muslim will call you right away says okay how the Trinity makes sense right away you know before even because he's afraid that he cannot really explain Islam he cannot answer about Islam Islam is stupid so they try in the speed of light to change the topic and always they are successful really when they speak to someone is not like me because other Christians they do not know that Muslims they play games they are not really uh, they don't have a decency of, of, uh, of finding the truth it's, it's not like about I'm debating you and you are debating me let's see who have the truth no the Muslim he play games taqiyya which means protection to protect his religion so what he do he right away he called he changed the topic and many Christian they fell into the trap and they go and change the topic and suddenly instead of answering about what Muhammad did now you are going to answer them about the Bible which they will believe not in it anyway and it doesn't matter how much you explain to them the same question they ask you today they will ask it to different Christian tomorrow even if you answer it in details the same question and not only that they lie like yesterday and the day before every time go and see the comment Muslim they say Christian believe in three gods have you ever heard of a Christian believe in three gods since when they lie about us my friend you are not texting my Skype maybe you are talking texting other Skype I have no Skype text from anybody so don't tell me you did So when you speak to a Muslim, learn how to force them into the topic because they are professional in scaping. And because the Christians usually they are nice, kind, you know, uh, uh, many Christians actually, they don't like the way we do things. They say, oh, this is not what Jesus taught you because they don't know what Christ is about. They think Christ is a hippie. He give hugs to people in the street. Uh, Christ he like he have his arm open always as they show you in the picture you know that is not Christ Christ is the one who called them hypocrite liars son of serpents thieves criminals the one who called them that your father is Satan that is a Christ but what they try to give you, Christ, the one who give hugs. Oh, Jesus says, love your enemy. Love your enemy doesn't mean we give them hugs. Love our enemy have nothing to do with hugs and kisses. If we have to, we go to war. If I have to defend my family and my land, I carry a sword and I go to war. The God of the Old Testament is the same God of the New Testament. Nothing change. So those potato, uh, you know, uh, let us call them the, the girly one. They claim to be Christian. They are no Christian. They have nothing to do with the Christianity. And when Jesus come back, he will order his angels and he will say, bring them in the front of me. Those who disobey him, slay them. So they read when they want, and they say to you, this is metaphorical. Well, my friend, hey, it's not metaphorical, no problem. But it's about hell. He will not really slay you. He will give you even more severe punishment. He will send you to hell for eternity. You will wish to be, to be slain. Because death is death, and that's it. But now you will be sent to hell. This is what slay, slay them mean. When Jesus come back, even Muhammad, who is serving the devil, he could not retreat from the truth. He said that when the Messiah, when the Shaitan, when the Antichrist, he see the Messiah, he will melt like salt. 
and Muhammad he described let us show you the hadith let us see give me a second Muhammad himself, who is copying stories as usual, he described the Dajjal or the Antichrist as the most powerful ever you can imagine. To the point even he can do miracles nobody can do. He can even cut a man to pieces and he put him together according to Muhammad. But when this person who is so powerful, his army will invade everywhere. Nobody can stop them. When he see the Messiah, he will dissolve like salt in water. In different stories, it says he will dissolve like copper. Read it. This is Muhammad talking. When the enemy of Allah he see the Messiah, what will happen to him? Certainly the time of a prayer will come. And when Jesus come, the son of Mary would descend and would lead them. When the enemy of Allah would see him, translation here saying disappear, no. He's just dissolve as salt dissolve in water do you see it that is our lord my friend even the devil muhammad himself could not deny who is jesus how come muhammad god cannot fight the antichrist how come muhammad himself why there is antichrist not anti-muhammad people listen carefully if Islam is the religion and Muhammad is the prophet of all time, shouldn't the Antichrist be the, the, the anti-Muhammad? No, he cannot be the anti-Muhammad because Muhammad, he is the Antichrist. He is serving the devil himself. But as you see, even the devil himself, he could not deny that the Messiah is so powerful to the point when the devil see the Messiah in the time, when the time come, the devil will dissolve the same as Allah dissolve in the front of us every day. They cannot refute us. They cannot answer us. They cannot prove us wrong. And as you see, this is our Jesus, who the shaitan, the enemy of God, when he see him, he dissolve like salt in water. And is that a da'if hadith? Rejected hadith? No, this is very, very, very authentic. So what the point of Muhammad? Why Muhammad he came to have sex with six years old, to kill, to rape, to steal, to teach us bad manner, bad ethics, zero ethic, to kiss black stones, to go around the Kaaba and never mention in the Bible, to worship a God, his name never mentioned in our book, to say false prophecies. And as always, Muhammad, he have zero witnesses for anything he say or anything he do. And again, as you see, we ask the Muslim a very simple question. Where does a Jassasa have to do? This is the story about actually the Antichrist. Zero Muslim dare to call. The answer is very simple because they don't dare to answer. They don't dare. So next time I will go live, I will make the same title, the same topic. And let us see if there's one Muslim he have the courage and the knowledge to join us. So next time I will go what time? Let us see. Maybe not today. I mean, it's already 5.34 p.m. Hmm. Let people watch this video. 
maybe tomorrow either in the morning or at night we will see don't forget to subscribe and you can join us in patreon so you can receive a notification because youtube sometimes don't or most of the time actually don't even send notification uh, uh, be sure that your notification app in patreon is on because that there's an option in your phone to turn it off so you will receive right away when i post a video in patreon you will receive right away a notification to your phone says i posted something and you can join us so i want to say thank you guys for being here and uh, next time we will go and talk about the same thing about stories muhammad he is fabricating stories he is copying stories he is he don't know even what he's talking about and all is documented all is proven to be false all proven to be fictions and no muslim will be able ever to respond let us see if next time we will have a better luck and we will find one muhammad and just one dare to call us and tell us where the story of Ajassasa came in from where this story about uh, the antichrist is coming from where we can find it where is muhammad getting his information from and then you will find that muhammad is nothing but a thief he is just a thief he's a fake false man he copied things that have nothing to do with him this is why he cannot explain it this is why they are coming funny he add his own spice and the story getting more miserable uh, revolver saying maybe we answer this question before we finish for today is the story let us put it in the screen Is the story of Muhammad having pain in his order related to the punishment of false prophet where Allah, he says, uh, he, uh, uh, severe false prophet order? Uh, you see, I don't think Allah, he can punish Muhammad because Allah does not exist. But the stupid Muhammad, he made a promise, claiming that Allah told him that if he fabricated the Quran, Allah is going to cut his artery. If you ask me, I believe the one who cut the artery of Muhammad is my Lord, the Messiah. To give you another clear proof that Muhammad is a false man. I believe Muhammad never thought for a second that this is exactly how he will die. So Muhammad, when he made those verses, he was trying to confirm himself that he is coming from Allah, like a God, which is the name of the God of Muhammad, which is the moon God. So he claimed that, okay, you know what? My God, Allah told me, if I am fabricating Quran, I'm going to do this to him. And guess what? This is exactly Muhammad himself from his mouth explain how he is dying. So I don't believe Allah is the one who punish him because he's fabricating. Allah doesn't exist. Allah is a false God. I believe that my Lord is the one who get Muhammad busted by causing his death to die as he claim that if he is fabricating words coming from God, God will punish him and will cut his artery. And then the Muslim, they try to fix it, but it's too late. You cannot fix that. You can't fix it. A Muslim, he says, oh, he think, he think, Muhammad is dying, now he is not, uh, you know, what do you mean he think? Is he, so when you want, he is a prophet of God, when you want, he is not. I feel as if my orta is being cut off from the poison. So it's not by normal death. It's a killing. If Muhammad is fabricating Quran, I will cut his artery. And this is exactly how he died. 
so i want to say thank you for everybody and i hope next time we go live we will find some muhammadan here who have the courage and the knowledge to call us uh, and we encourage the muslims to call your sheikh tell them why you don't call the guy tell me a sheikh will call you and i will promise you i will speak to him nicely as long as he is not rude he is not using bad language i will respect him treat him as a like a, my guest at home ask your sheikh why you don't call this guy i mean come on you can get him busted easy can't you i'm sure they can right why they didn't do it they didn't do it because simply they knew that it's going to be the opposite otherwise prove me wrong get your sheikh let him not only you know what i will call him I will call him. He can be even live in a TV. Just give me his Skype. Let us say you are Sheikh, have a TV program. Live in satellite. Don't even tell me his name. I don't care. I will call him. Let us see if he can handle it. That Santa Claus is true, is real, and Allah is not. Right? Allah is not. We laugh at their stupidity. And Ante will see you soon again. We say, May the Lord bless you. And this is your brother, Christian Prince, who is serving you humbly for today. See you soon. Take care.